Good evening. <laughs> Picture this. I'm transferring myself to the driver's seat of my car when a, tr a stranger approaches me and asks, are you okay? Do you need any help? Wait, how were you able to drive? And now, what was supposed to be a quick trip to the store is a 20 minute lesson on how I'm able to drive. What do you think when you look at me? Are you thinking of all the things I can't do? I was born with spina bifida, which is when the spine doesn't fully develop at birth. The result is I'm paralyzed from the waist down. The positive side, my shoes always look brand new. <laughs> I had a great childhood. I really can't complain. I did everything a normal kid does. I went to school dances, I went to the prom, graduated high school, and even attended college. My proudest moment was walking across the stage with my crutches to receive my eighth grade diploma. I will never forget that day. <laughs> My mom and dad, I might get emotional on this one. <laughs> My mom and dad have been and still are amazing parents. But as their baby girl, they wanted to make sure that nothing bad ever happened to me. Who here wants their children to be safe? It's what parents do, right? But with their intention to keep me safe, there was sometimes that reminder of what I couldn't do. Luckily, I had a great supporter by my side growing up, my big sister. <laughs> Who's here tonight? She has always been my cheerleader, my supporter, and my biggest kick in the behind. She always sees what I can do and never what I can't. A part of me, though, still thinks that her encouragement was her way of getting me to do her chores. But I digress. I'm also thankful that I had my brother-in-law to look up to growing up. He has always been very successful in all his endeavors. He always taught me to work hard and never give up. I'll never forget the day I told my parents I signed up for driving school. My sister had been driving for a few years, and I couldn't wait to do the same. I broke the news to my parents, and my poor dad almost had a heart attack. I don't think that's a good idea, he said. What if something happens? What if you get a flat tire? What if, sorry, what if you get a flat tire? Who's gonna help you? That's why they invented AAA, Dad. I had all the answers when I was younger. You see, I am in a wheelchair. This is my life. The same way that you have two working legs, for me, there's no difference. The word disabled does not apply to me. Trust me, I am very able. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just ask my husband. He knows that when I get that look in my eye and set my mind to do something, I'm gonna do it no matter what. The word can't is not in my vocabulary. Did I just surprise you? Yes, I am happily married. My handsome husband is here with me tonight. He is also my biggest supporter and only sees what I'm able to do. I also, believe it or not, have a great job at one of South Coast's top salons, the Wash House Salon. This is us. Aren't we a great looking bunch? <laughs> Clients are amazed when they first walk in and see what I'm able to do. And a little confession, when I see a client watching, 
I sometimes show off a little bit more just to show them how able I really am. Here's what I'm getting at. You, me, the person sitting next to you, we're all the same. There are things that you can do that I can't do. And there are things that you can't do that I can. We're all a little able or a little disabled if you look at the world that way. The fact that I am different doesn't mean that I'm less capable of having a full life. It simply means that I choose what I focus on. I only focus on what I can do. Trust me, when I was asked to speak on this stage, the first thing that came to my mind was I can't, loud and clear. But if there is one gift I've learned from my wheelchair, is that I can. That's why I'm here tonight. Even if upon meeting the other great speakers, I felt that I was swimming in the wrong pond, asking myself, what do I have to offer here? Something in me said that I could do it. And yes, I am fortunate. I have my husband, my family, my friends that motiva motivate me every day. But truth be told, it starts within. And I can honestly say that my faith has a lot to do with who I am today. <laughs> I live by this scripture, and that is, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Henry Ford once said, if you think you can do a thing or think that you can't do a thing, you're right. So, what do you think the world would look like if we eliminated the word can't? What would be possible? What could you achieve? What could you empower your children, your friends, your loved ones, and your teams to do if you believed that they could. So this is what I want to invite you to do. The next time you hear yourself saying you can't, simply ask yourself, how can I? Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>